Well, good morning from Christiansburg, Virginia. Cindy Eriks here with Robert Henderson's 365 prayers and activations for entering the courts of heaven. I had a good trip yesterday from Kentucky to Christiansburg. A little rainy most of the way, but it was good. God blessed me uh, with safety, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, I'm headed today from Christiansburg to New Jersey, or as far as I get. And we'll see how the weather is because there's been some bad weather ahead. I may stop earlier in Pennsylvania and stay. I don't know yet. But anyway, um, thank you for joining me today. And um, this is um, the title for Robert's uh, message today for us is uh, Liberty for the Oppressed Through Knowledge. And he quotes a couple of scriptures. Uh, the one that he uh, that he spells out completely reads as this from Luke 4 and 18, which we've, we've We've heard that many times through this last week or so. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Again, that's Luke 418. By the way, I'm in the parking lot of Life Pacific College. It's pretty cool here. Anyway, um, but this is what Robert has to say. Jesus claimed he was anointed to bring liberty to the oppressed. Isaiah 11 corresponds the spirit of knowledge to this anointing. In other words, it's the spirit of knowledge that sets liberty to those that are oppressed. The oppressed were those who were under the bondage of legalism. I know there are many out there today under the bondage of legalism. They were living under the dictates and mandates of religious structure designed to control them through feet. This is why the Apostle Paul declared that as New Testament believers, we had not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. And that's referenced in Romans 8 and 15. This was a reference to always feeling condemned because of the inability to keep the law. And that's why Jesus came, uh, that the law did not have to be kept. Not that you didn't, I mean, a lot of things in the law are still true. Jesus, he lives in you you're going to want to follow those rules because when your heart is his heart, then you you want that kind of life. You want to live that kind of life. Anyway, that's my little side note. It is the spirit of knowledge that sets us free at liberty. This is not knowledge gained through natural means, but knowledge garnered through the revelation of the Holy Spirit. We come to a knowledge that sets us free from the mandate of religion. We understand through this spirit of knowledge that it's not the keeping of the law, but the communion of the Holy Spirit that sets us free. Amen. We have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption that cries out, Abba, Father. Oh, amen. I received that today. I hope you do. So this is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as I come before your throne in the courts of heaven, we thank you that the seven spirits of God are released to minister your life to me. I thank you that the spirit of knowledge is breaking every false concept and idea I have of you and your ways. I thank you that because of this, I am being freed from the oppression of religion, legalism, and fear. I receive this from your courts in Jesus' name. Amen. That's another another good prayer. Every good prayer. It seems like he has every prayer is a really good prayer. So this would be my prayer today, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God, for um, this day, God. Thank you for the life that you've given us here, God, in this earth, Lord, to do your will and do your work, God. What's written in your books in heaven about each one of us, God. I pray it's fulfilled today and every day and each day, God. I pray that the enemy is bound from... Um, just removing, removing any legal rights um, to your will and destiny and purpose in our lives, God. I pray for freedom for the captives, God. I pray for the knowledge of who you are and who we are in you, God. 
to be free today, God, and then not be, and not, and not, not set our steps by legalism, um, legalism or works, and um, or laws, God, but that your spirit lives in us and we love what you love and hate what you hate and um we we listen for your holy spirit to guide us in every single detail of our lives lord every word every thought every thought that comes into our minds every word that comes out of our lips god let it bless you today god show us your will for us today god we thank you god i hear the birds here i love those birds lord thank you for the birds god we love you, Lord. We thank you for this day, God. We thank you for the very breath, God, that we would we only have because of you. The very breath, God, and the movement of our bodies, of our minds, of our spirits, God. We only have that because of you. Praise you, God. Praise you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I do pray you're blessed today and that you receive that today. And um, just know that I love you. But know that he loves you so much more, so much greater. God bless you.